Welcome back. So, this area is not particularly hard or scary. We are going to have some enemies just jumping out out of nowhere, so I have to be careful about that. But everything else should be smooth. You're doing good on, on ammo. So yeah, let's get going and let's smash it out. The enemies are quite tanky. And I used the first aid at medkit again by mistake. Because my reload button is just by the quick medkit button. Anyways, it should be fun. The enemies are quite tanky and spongy in this area. So you will see them absorbing a lot of bullets. Anything in here? Nothing. I don't want to drop there. Cool. Hear the baddie. Ooh, that's something new. We got our minus 30 radiation item. Now, what do we want to change it with? Actually, with the meat chunk. That's gonna help out. That's the item we were looking for. Now we don't have to pick up every single anti-rat drug and we are on 10 so that's good now we should have an invisible enemy here there he is how do I go about this uh, should I use my Vintar I'm afraid I'm gonna run out of bullets before. I can kill him. Oh, look at him. He's just running around everywhere. Do I have any grenades? No. No, he noticed me. Got him. Good. That was easier than I expected. First time around when you're playing the game. You really aren't prepared for him, so you just run in and get obliterated. Let's get rid of our special bullets. There's a so just a necessary weight we're carrying around. If we had more, I would save them, but it's unnecessary right now. 14 of them, yeah, let's just use them. So it's below us. And this is the, the way to go, I think. Nothing in here. It's like this is such a huge laboratory and they're leaving it unprotected. And they had a baddie in there too. That was their way to protect it. Mm, we're quite heavy again. Let's drop this one. Don't need it anymore. And uh, when we complete the quests, then the enemies will actually swarm us and we have to fight our way back to the surface. And that's the part I'm not looking forward to. Can't remember if there is one more baddie here. Yeah. Mm, 
he just ran away in there. Oh, oh here he comes. Got him, good. Nothing in here. Nothing. Oh. Anything? Nothing. Okay, we explored everything. Let's keep going. So you can actually, oh, he is here, I can hear him, one more bad, he's invisible. So you can actually drop down and if you can survive, you can probably take the shortcut. Where is he? I can hear him. That's the invisible one. Please don't jump scare me. This is a really bad place to be in. more secure up here I think that's bothering me I can't see him ah fudge but, that was not pleasant I'm going through my bullets but there's no tomorrow. I should should definitely save them. I, I still got a lot of Vintar ammo, so that's good. Hmm. Where should I go now? Yeah, this seems like the area I should go through. Yep. Any baddies? Might as well go and explore it. No point being a coward. Don't have the lock. The codes are probably up here with the dead body that I saw. Nope. Alright. Task complete. The brain scorcher is no more. And let's go and do some breakdancing. And that's the wish granter.
and that was the voice of the wish granter calling us forward calling us to our demise so basically the game oh there's 19 of them so the basic the the game has several endings all of them are bad and there's only one good ending which means that if you do anything related to the wish granter you will fail and these little cutscenes are showing you that the wish granter should be avoided at all costs now if you don't play the game properly you will end up at the wish granter and you will get the bad ending and i'm proud to say that oh when i play the game for the first time i got the bad ending it's very easy to get the bad ending Because if you follow the quests on the mini map, like the arrows, they will take you straight to the Wish Granter, which we don't want to do. Our armor is pretty banged up, too. But if you go back and meet the guide, guide is the first stalker in the zone. The guide will give you the instructions and the possible good ending. And you can imagine me playing the game for the first time, just going through all this hell, getting jump scared a million times around and just getting the bad ending and I was like WTF at the end and that didn't kill him because he's wearing an exo scared to loot in this area because I don't know where are they gonna jump out of yeah I can hear them see him. I'll flank him from this side. I can't believe I can't find a scope for, for that weapon. I just want the scope. I don't need that weapon. I just want it. Must have it. That was a bad idea.
I didn't want to pick up the ammo. Okay, I can see him. Oh no. I can actually see him. Maybe I can take him out from here. Did I get him? I did. The thing that worries me is my armor. It's pretty banged up. Ooh, that was close. the last one. I swear I saw somebody here. Might as well loot. Bandages. But we were doing good on first aid, so it's fine. Boys hungry. Here, have some food. I can see him. Seems like none left. There's more outside. again I basically have nothing on me probably the ammo I'm carrying don't want to pick this one up Okay, now the second part, there's going to be a lot of them here and they're going to be very aggressive. Yeah. 
this is actually a good space a good point to just hide and kite them before they can kite you because if you go outside it's just hell as well switch to my wind tower oh <laughs> back of the neck let's keep going I'm really scared got him I'm really scared of the invisible mutant that's running around They notice me. I should maybe run for it. Because they are on the other side. No point wasting time. Okay, there's one of them here. Probably. No, I'm good. I'm just gonna let him battle it out. Because I'm the neutral one. Funny. Now, you've heard what the guy from the barkeep had to say. Now, if you are a first time player, you're probably gonna rush to the center of the zone, which was on the left where the baddies were. But we are not gonna do that. That's how you get the bad ending. So, oh. There is a baddie here. Is he on top? Ha ah, ah. ha! Sorry, dude. So now we need to go back and talk to the first stalker called the guide. And it's gonna be a long way there, but we might do some special stuff on stuff on our way. Now this is the forest part and the forest part, the dark forest is actually a pretty huge thing in the next two installments. But here you can just avoid it because there's a lot of mutants and nothing special actually in there from the artifacts as far as I know I'm just gonna switch to my normal weapon I can see the radiation going down Ooh. much faster wasn't expecting them to be here I need to get into a better position There's one more left. Got him. So yeah, the dark forest. I'm gonna avoid 
I'm gonna research it. Maybe there is a special artifact over there that I didn't pick up. But for now, there is no need for me to go there. And there's a scope on that one. So now we are going to the guide. Now hopefully we won't encounter too much troubles on our way there. And then the guide will tell us what's happening and how to get the good ending and Jesus. And the entire story will become clear toward us our gameplay and what we have to do. This is probably the mutant invasion that I was looking to clear out last time I was here. There's the rest of them, they scattered everywhere. Go, buddy. You can definitely see some artifacts over there, shall we? This is gonna be fun. And a chopper. These houses here, that every everything there can be explored. So far, so good. Special on him. Yeah, not actually worth it. Oh, that's not gonna end up good. Ah, oh, it, it has me. Uh, whew, close. gonna hurt. Definitely need, need a new armor. Uh, you can get a special shotgun in this area which I'm not interested in. I did try it out and I think a special shotgun or something. Actually why not let's do it for the kicks. Let's go back to the army base or whatever, wherever we need to go to turn in the quest yeah it's here I believe and in that area over here there are some side quests you can do too they're pretty fun so we shall do those Mm, 
Actually, I'm not gonna do that quest. Scratch it. I have to join duty, or do I? Hmm. I'm not gonna snitch. I'm not gonna snitch because at the last part of the quest, I'm gonna team up with the duty members to clear out Pripyat, the town of Pripyat, and I don't want to do that on my own. And I don't wanna. I don't know how that's gonna work. Maybe the duty members are always meant to help you there. Don't want to deal with that. Don't want to make the game harder for me. Good boys over there. And somebody is dead. Oh, come on. That's one way to keep the fire going. Alright, let's check this area out. Seriously. You can see the freedom members just chilling. Let's kill the bloodsuckers. Mm, and there is a lot of them here. This house is empty. Now the goal is to fight him one by one. We do not want them to swarm us. There's definitely more. That's a bad place to mm. bad place to jam. Oh, nice! A bloodsucker tentacle. And that's the, the weapon. It's like a grenade launcher or something. And again, don't like it because you lose the ability to run. And you can actually blow yourself to smithereens if you don't position yourself correctly. And it's really bad for this place to use because it's close combat. I think I've been here. Yeah, definitely I've been here. Problem is I can't see him. I swear they are in here. One. 
two of them, nice. And a special artifact. This tower is actually huge in the next two uh, next two installments of the game. But uh, this one is just like a side area, especially in Call of Pripyat. I remember it being really huge. Oh, come on. I actually can't break it. Nothing in this stash. So let's go downstairs. I think we we did kill a lot of blood suckers, oh, four of them. But there are still more, I think, because the quest. Oh, the quest is done. Look at our suit. It, it's basically not existent. I got twenty percent on it. Feel so vulnerable right now. Чувак, мир, тут спрячься, га? I still got some blood suckers and I don't feel comfortable because the night is gonna fall soon. So I'll just blitz through it. Hopefully I can find them before it's completely dark. Yeah, good weapon, but you know, don't need it. I'm just running through everything, just trying to grab their attention. And I'm probably gonna spaz out as soon as they show. I don't think they're gonna be this close to the camp, or are they? Okay. There we go. Perfect. Whew. I didn't even notice that I, I traveled so far from them. the base come back for the reward basically that's it and then you go back for the reward which we figured out that I don't need to do because then I will join them and don't want to do that we are gonna stay neutral in the next two installments you definitely want to pick a side but in this one eh, it's not necessary it's actually detrimental to your gameplay Look at that. Posse squad. Keep going. 
I'm, I'm probably going to stop at the bar and just buy a better suit because we can afford it. What's our money? I can't even see how much money we have. Yeah, am I blind? Yeah. 87k. That's going to be enough for any type of suit. And don't want the XO, so. I don't think we can afford the exoskeleton, but everything else we can afford. Now you're gonna see when we go to the, the lower and the beginning areas. What's happening here? What? Oh, they are fighting. Hundred and sixty K. Ooh, would be nice. Don't have the money. Chunk. Oh, we can do the quest now. Yeah, good. Well, we are gonna keep everything else. Grenade can go. Uh, food, I'll keep the food. You never know when our boy is gonna get hungry. So, how are we doing? 105. I don't think we can get that money. Up, I've always got something interesting for people like you. My information might well be of use to you, stalker. Come here. I've always got something interesting for people like you. No information, just not one. Maybe well of use to you, if I sell all of my special items, because I don't need them anymore. Maybe we can get some cash out of this, but now nah, that doesn't look like it. Not even close. I really want that suit though. <laughs> I've always got something interesting for people like you. My information might well be of use to you, stalker. Okay. Doing well. So let's pick out a suit. We're just gonna go for the cheaper one. We're probably gonna find a suit anyways. I think I'm gonna go for the stalker suit. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna work for now. Okay. Now because we opened the path to the zone, everybody started fighting each other. Which is really odd and weird. I never experienced this because I always went straight to the guide. But you can basically loot everybody and get a lot of items. Useless items though. So. Oh no, they killed the, the get out of here stalker guy. Sad days. Let's just check our tasks. So we got the wish granter. This is the bad ending. Don't want to do that one. Kill Sherlock. That one will be completed soon. I can't do this one. I did get in the lab. That's weird. Yeah, meet the guide. 
that's where we go in. Hopefully there's no more dogs here, because I took care of them last time around. Oh, I can hear them. Okay. Really? He took a full clip. And I did kill them again just because I want to go to the stash over here. Maybe there's something useful. Yep. Yeah. That's good, a slug. And maybe later on I can use that slug and swap it over. Something. Maybe I can remove one of the, the flashes, you know, the sparkler and put the slug on. later on I, I predict I'm gonna take a lot of damage so being completely immune to bleeding is nice So that quest is still showing, but we completed it. Yeah, a lot of bugs in this game, unfortunately. Oh, they need help again. How many times have I saved the guys over here? And now you're gonna see, I'm in this area with this OP weapon. The bandits are gonna get creamed. Stone blood, nothing special. Now I can hear them fighting. El Banditos, where are you boys? Now let's use our wind tar for this one. hard to hit him. I'll just bring the, the fight to them. A bloodsucker. Interesting. There's a stash in here. But where? Now oh, there's a suit. Should have saved my money. That's a pretty good one, Merc suit. I'm not going back in because 
you know, it's just the, the gun and the bullets. I forgot that I need to take everything out. Let's let's meet the guide. We got sidetracked again. Every single time I walk into it. Oh, I'm out of bandages, am I? Cool. I hate backtracking like this because in these areas usually the enemies will not drop the weapons I actually need. So I I don't particularly like side getting sidetracked. Hopefully in this area over here I won't I will still have my guys protecting it. Otherwise it's not gonna be fun. Yeah. Still got my boys here. Now walking through this area with such an OP weapon feels good, man. Because I know nothing can touch me. Yeah, this suit is quite good. I could have saved money there. And probably on my way back, I would have enough money to buy the special suit, but it is what it is. Okay, this is our boy. Alright, so... Guide did tell you where the doctor is. So now we are going to chat with the doctor. And the doctor is actually in your old hideout. I just want to see how to get there. Okay, so we need to go through... Uh, okay, that's gonna work. So we need to go underground again. And we need to go to the Strelok's... Old warehouse, like the stash we uh, went in in the first few parts. We've where we found the upgraded AK and believe it or not the doctor is going to be here as the guide said and that's the point where we realize that we are Strelok and we unlock the good ending because the doctor will give us the coordinates of the spell special documents that we need to pick up and basically those special documents will have the key code that we need to use in prepared to access the main room otherwise you can only do the wish granter and yeah you don't want to do that I'm gonna avoid the baddies I don't care about anything. 
Oh, El Bandito's over there again. Can we... Okay, I'm trying to save some bullets. Oh, you took a direct headshot, dude. Now hopefully... We won't have to fight that much in this area, because I can't be bothered to fight. I'm just running for it. No need to waste any bullets on the mutants. Hmm. Not fun. Mutants and everybody's here, so let's quick save because we are in for a fight. Might as well let him battle it out. There's more. I'm just afraid that the dogs will jump on me from the behind, from the back. Okay. Let's just go inside. Okay. And there are some enemies here, oh no. Bloody El Banditos. I should switch to my close range weapon here. Quick save and let's have some fun. Yeah, these quests are rep repetitive as you can see. Now, the only thing I care about in here is actually just. Oh, hello, buddy. Hmm, what's that? Nothing special. Oh, there's one more. I wasn't expecting that. Let's just check out if we can find any artifacts. Nothing. Keep going. And yeah, you can tell that we are getting closer. Yep. 
all, all weapon, old weapon chilling in there. And this is where we can find the doctor. And this is how you unlock the good ending. Hey, Strela. Strela, come on, man, wake up. Oh, this better. You had me worried. What the hell are you doing, man? Have you lost your memory or something? You were the one who suggested that we take this precaution. Oh well, at least you're at least you are still alive. Look, Strela, we've got no time, so I need you to listen to me. Everything you have said about the monolith is true. All of it. It is just an illusion manufactured in a lab next to the sarcophagus. No one, nobody who reached the monolith has ever come back. Looks like they have died there. But anyway, while you're away, I dug up some more info. And basically, there is a decoder to open the door which leads to the monolith controls. And this decoder is hidden in a stash and prep lab. Now I am going to give you the coordinates of this stash, and I'm giving you the key to open it. I want you to take the decoder, and I want you to find the door in the sarcophagus. And then you... well, you'll know what to do. It seems that this is the only way of uncovering the zone's real secret. This is the one you have been trying to work out, Strelok. Okay. And we did unlock the good ending. Now we just have to kill everything in our path and succeed. Now let's get out of here. Kinda worries me that I can see number three on my PDA. And that's why. Actually, you're gonna go the other way around reason why I, I'm gonna end up in the base and I don't need to fight them and I have a good hunch that the guys and the base are, have respawned oh and I wouldn't haha <laughs> look at this one ah, get away so worth it being a coward Oh, artifacts everywhere, like two perfect ones for the endurance. One more, Jesus. Ah, look at my bleeding just going away by its on its own love it so we got two artifacts for the extended endurance am I going the right way am I getting lost again I got lost and now it's closer, so I'm just gonna go. Fudge it. Now, hopefully, the controller won't attack me. Uh, lights off, save, and let's get out. And it's day, I can see the daylight, which is nice. And just one. That's nice. Two. Let's just run for it. 
we're good. Great. That was smooth. Uh, Dogos chilling on the side. We're chilling on the other side, having our daily Chernobyl sprint. Probably some bloodsuckers chilling too. Might as well put on the new flash we found. Brilliant. I wonder if we go over 50 kilos, is that gonna affect our endurance? Is it gonna make that? Is it gonna make us uh, carry more? That would be nice. Okay, so what's next? First, let's find a normal spot away from danger. And they respond again. Come on. Can't be bothered to deal with them. Just run for it. Ooh, something shiny. I got baited. Bad. <laughs> okay, I need to change my weapon. Because 10 bullets. I don't want to encounter the invisible enemy and not have enough bullets. Okay, this area over here is nice. Let's take off our weapon and see uh, uh, what's next. So we're not going to do the wish granter and that one is going to be completed as soon as we find the documents. Freedom base, we're not going to do that one. Kill Strelok, that one is basically something that's not going to be completed ever. Fucked one. What's, what was that? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we're going to the secret stash in Pripyat. And there we go. So, thank you for watching, guys. We are going to stop here. And then in our next part, maybe next two parts, the game should be completed. Uh, thank you for watching and if you had fun subscribe because I'm going to be playing Clear Sky and Pripyat and I heard somewhere that subscribing gives you 10 years of good luck. Tested. <laughs> See you next time.